greater than, less than and equal to. It can be quite tricky to remember which symbol means which um, thing. <laughs> uh, greater than, less than and equal to. Um, so if we look at this example uh, on the screen, would you know which symbol to use? We have 29 and then we've got space and we've got 12 and we need to put in one of those symbols to make um, an appropriate uh, number sentence. We all know that 29 is actually more than 12 so when we look to put the symbol in we're looking for something like this that appears on the screen now. There is an easy way to remember which symbol means what and that way is to use dots if we place one dot at the point of our symbol and then two dots at the other end we can use a technique where we say that two dots are bigger than one and the two dots need to go towards the number which is the largest so if we put this into practice on our original number 29 and 12 you put the two dots next to the 29 one dot next to the 12 and then simply connect the dots together to give you your symbol which looks like this let's look at another example here we've got 12 and 75 if we put the two dots next to the 75 which is the biggest number and then one dot next to the 12 which is the smallest number we can connect the dots together and create our symbol which is a less than symbol so 12 is less than 75 same here with this example of 79 and 12 two dots next to the 79 one dot next to the 12 connect them together and we get greater than 79 is greater than 12 um, equal is always easy to remember it is an equal sign if one side is the same as the other it's equal 12 is equal to 12 let's shake things up a little bit now we may need to use some maths in order to solve some of these problems here you see we've got 1 plus 3 and then we've got 12 at the other side so the first step would be to make sure that we found out what the the plus side was so 1 plus 3 and we work that out to be 4 bring that 12 down and now you've got something that looks like the first set of questions we, we looked at here you can put the two dots next to the 12 it being the largest of the numbers and the one dot near the 4 join them together and you get the less than symbol 4 is less than 12 you can use this for uh, times questions as well we have here 3 times 5 and 12 at the other end simply work out what 3 times 5 is which is 15 bring down the 12 which is there give the two dots to the 15 which is the larger of the two numbers and then join the dots together to give greater than 15 is greater than 12 now I've tested this technique with a few um, SEN pupils special educational needs such as dyslexia or dyspraxia and it seems to be not only do they get the technique but the retention is better as well with these pupils some teachers use the crocodile approach the crocodile wants to eat the biggest number but using two dots are bigger than one and actually physically putting the dots on there seems to help children to retain the technique and be able to implement it as well. 